Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom domain between Namecheap and System.io and if you follow along, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial and by the end of the video, everything should be ready to go and fully working. Now, just before I get started, if you are someone struggling with System, I have actually got a full course called the System Accelerator. I'll also leave some information in the description about that and if you haven't yet even got started with System and and you join using my link in the description too i'll also give you that system accelerator course for free so let's go ahead and get started the first thing you want to do is go ahead and log into your system account and you want to also come to namecheap now namecheap is probably the cheapest and best domain platform out there on the internet there are so many that lure you in with a really cheap price point and then of course they upsell you to a crazy expensive domain whereas if you just go with namecheap it's always going to be cheap and consistent so what you want to do is come inside of Namecheap first and find your own domain. Now this is a pretty straightforward process. You just type in the domain name that you want. If it's available, it is going to let you know. For example, Conversio Funnel is domain. And keep in mind there is also a discount code over here. If it doesn't appear, then use the link in the description. That should allow it to appear. But you can basically get it for $5.98. So once you actually purchase your domain, now I've got one here ready to go. You should be able to come inside your account and come to domain list and for this example i'm going to use this domain i have called funnelstacked.com what you want to do is quickly come over to manage on the right and then you will be brought to this page here now this is all just standard default sort of information you don't have to touch anything but what we want to do is come across here to the right where you can see advanced dns you want to click on that and then we're just going to stay on this page while we go to system. So what we want to do inside of system now is come to your profile picture, come to settings. Okay, and it will actually load on the profile settings page, but I've just quickly whipped to my plan just so you can't see my personal info. But one thing to note while I'm here as well, uh, the amount of custom domains you can have will depend on your pricing plan that you're on. For example, if you're on the free plan, I believe you can get one custom domain. If you're on the startup, you can have three. I'm actually on the webinar, so I can get 10. And then of course, on the unlimited, you can get unlimited. So what you wanna do is come down to custom domains. Okay, and then you will be brought to this page here. You can see I've already added quite a few domains to my account, but what I'm gonna do is click add domain and type in my new domain. So my new one is called funnelstacked.com. Okay, and click on save. And it's asking for a www, so make sure you throw that in as well. Okay, so just showing you what you may face. And in a few moments, we're going to be given some DNS records. So this is the part here that we need to take note of, right? So we've got here a www.funnelstack.com dot, and it's a C name, and then we've got this crazy long bit of text, and then we've got the same thing here, except it's full of some other text as well. So that's perfect. So the first step, what we want to do is keep in mind it is CNAME records, which I'll walk you through, don't worry. But what we want to do is copy this first bit of text here on the right. So copy the whole thing and press copy. So yeah, highlight, copy, and then come back to our records here. Now we don't want to have this URL redirect record available. So we'll go ahead and delete it like so and click yes. Okay, so that's now gone. We want to click actions. Sorry, we want to click add new record and scroll down to CNAME, okay? And then what we wanna do is type in www and put in this value and then click on the check, okay? And the reason we do this is www is basically saying for the funnelstack.com, that's why we don't need to write the whole thing. If you paste in the whole thing, you may get an error. So just to let you know. So that's pretty straightforward, right? CNAME, we've got www and our first uh, domain record. Now what we wanna do is just copy this first number here, right? It's quite a long weird number, but right up until the full stop. So click copy, okay, come back to Namecheap, click add new record. Once again, it's a C name, okay? So C name, and we wanna paste in that crazy long code like so. So we're gonna need to come back one more time and we wanna copy this entire thing. Okay, so right click, copy, okay, back to Namecheap, paste in the value like so, and then click tick, okay? So once that is saved, right, we're pretty much done. Now this can take between, you know, 
10 minutes and an hour to what they call propagate, which basically means that the website is now pointing to these CNAME records, which is where the sort of domain is forwarded to. Imagine building a road between your domain and system IO. This is what's happening. So it is just saying, hey, this domain needs to point here and they're gonna be like, okay, once it gets updated. But what you can do to check on the progress is come to DNS and then type in your domain. For example, www.funnelstacked.com and it is a CNAME record. So come down to CNAME, click on search and we will see what it says. So as you can see, it's actually propagated in majority of the places. It's testing from all around the world. So if we come back to our system dashboard and click on the X and then click on reload, it may still say pending validation, but in about five minutes or so, it should be ready to rock and roll. Uh, it just needs to be updated on both servers and then one, once everything's good to go, it's ready. So to give you an idea of how long this actually takes, what I'm gonna do is pause this video and keep refreshing this page and I'll time how long it actually takes. Okay, so that has now been completed. It is now ready to use, as you can see. Uh, I stopped the clock at 13 minutes 23. Realistically, I stopped refresh, refreshing every minute after about eight minutes. I got sidetracked and then remembered, so I went quickly and checked it. So realistically, it was probably about 10 minutes, but regardless, it's ready to use now. So once you can see you have your domain, it's ready to use. If you wanna make this your default domain, what you need to do is come across to the right and if you hover over the three dots, you'll see it says mark and domain as default. This basically means every time that you wanna add a funnel, this is going to say, hey, um, here is your main default domain. So you can instantly go ahead and create URLs on that. Now there is also a few additional settings that you can add to your domain. For example, if you have a icon that you want to add into it. This is going to be your favicon settings. You can also create a login page if you wanted to create your own login portal for things like courses or memberships. So you can also edit that in here. I'll leave a link down below to editing uh, login pages. I've created a full tutorial on that. There's also things like recapture settings if you want to add it and Facebook conversion pixels. Of course, there is also your main logo as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, the other thing I I see people asking is how do you actually add um, the funnels, oh, sorry, the domain to existing funnels? And that's really easy. I've gone here and opened up a funnel inside of the funnels tab, right? So this is this one here. You can see at the moment, my default domain is philwilson.system.io. So what you can do to actually change that if you're adding in a domain is in the top right under funnel settings, go and click on that and down here you will see funnel domain. This is where you can actually choose the funnel of your choice. So funnel stacked and click on save and now you'll see that it's actually changed the domain and changed the URL. So it's extremely easy to do. It takes once again, maybe 10 or 15 minutes for this entire process to be completed. But once it's done, it's there, it's ready to rock and roll whenever you need it. So keep that in mind and hopefully this tutorial has helped. Talking about that, if you did find value in this tutorial, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And apart from that, once again, if you are struggling with system.io and you're thinking about selling courses, making funnels, creating email automations, things like that, I've also got my system accelerator course. I've had hundreds of people go through it. They absolutely love it. So if you wanna check it out, I'll link to that in the description. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash a comment down in the comments section. I love to hear from all types of system users. But apart from that, that is it guys. Thanks for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you on more videos.